So it's important to study ants because they're great model social systems. They live in complex societies. And that's great because humans also live in complex societies. So by studying ants, we can potentially learn some things about human societies. We study the behavior of ants to get at the function and evolution of complex societies. When you first look at a colony, it may look like the ants are all doing the same thing, but in fact there is a lot of variation in what ants do. There are individuals not doing much, there's individuals doing a lot, and they do progress through different tasks. But what individuals do doesn't just depend on, say, their own genes, it also depends on the genes of their nestmate. Really, you can't just take an individual out of a colony and expect it to behave normally. Everything it does depends on the colony context and it depends on the genotype of its, its social partners. It really is a complex social system. Humans have been living in complex societies for only several thousands of years, whereas ants have been living in complex societies for over 100 million years. Features have had time to evolve in ant societies that haven't had time to evolve in, in human societies. For example, all societies have to deal with disease pressure. Ant societies also have those issues, but they've had over 100 million years for traits to evolve that prevent the spread of diseases. By studying things like disease resistance in ant societies, we might gain insight into uh, mechanisms that humans could use. The next time someone sees an ant, if you're tempted to squash it, think about how, I guess, how it's a member of a larger society, just like we are, and how that particular ant is doing different roles in that society.